when you look at the top of the Maso screen, you'll see a bright green optional stop on indication. But what is it and what is it for? Welcome to Maso Top Tip. To understand what the optional stop means, you must first understand what optional stop is. It'll come as no surprise to hear that's exactly what it says it is, a stop that's optional. In G-Code, the M1 or the M01 command is the optional stop command. You can use this in your G-Code and when the command is reached, the machine will either stop or continue on, depending on whether you have optional stop turned on or off on your Maso. When optional stop is turned on, the machine will stop and wait for the user to press cycle start before it resumes machining. To toggle the status, you can tap the optional stop at the top of the screen to change it from on to off. With optional stop turned off, Maso ignores the M1 command and continues as if it isn't there. If you don't have a touch screen, you can use Ctrl O to toggle the feature on and off using an external keyboard. One thing to note is that optional stop is always turned on whenever you power on your Maso. If you turn it off, it will remain off until you turn it back on or you repower your Maso. One thing you might find useful is teaming up an optional stop with a message command so that you know you've reached an optional stop and should press cycle start when you want to continue. So why would you want optional stop? It can be a useful learning aid to provide messages and pauses to the machine operator at various intervals in the program. Once the operator is comfortable that no longer needs the prompting, the optional stop can be turned off and the program will run without stopping. Well, I hope you found this useful, and maybe you'll have use for an optional stop in one of your projects in the future. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next Maso Top Tip. Cheers!